Hi guys, welcome to the another session on bean shell scripting in JMeter. So in the today's session, we are going to learn how we can write data to CSV file using bean shell scripting in JMeter. So let's get started. And if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and also click on the bell icon to get the updates on the latest videos. So let's move ahead. So in the previous session, we have already created test where we had created first thread group where we had learned the bean shell sampler and here we have used the methods vats dot put to assign a value to a variable we had also used vats dot get to get the value of the variable which we had created and that variable we had used in the http request server and also the second thread group we had created where we had used the bean shell preprocessor. This was the bean shell preprocessor where we had learned the prev variable. We fetched the response code and the response message using this prev. Okay, so in the today's session, let's move ahead and let's use bean shell post processor. So I have already disabled these two thread groups. We have already seen these in the previous sessions. And if you have not watched my previous video, I would suggest you to please watch that video as well so I'm going to create a thread group now so right click on thread test plan add threads and the thread group and here I'm going to add a HTTP request so again right click on thread group add sampler and the HTTP request and now I'm going to add a post processor in this HTTP request so to add a post processor you will right click on the HTTP request add post processor and here I can choose this bean shell post processor over here okay so what scenario we are going to do today we are going to do the scenario that if my HTTP request when we will do the execution of this HTTP request if the response code is 200 then we are going to write in the CSV file that that the test is passed and if my response code is not equal to 200 of this HTTP request then we are going to write in the CSV file that test is failed so we are going to write a script for this scenario in this bean shell post processor so since we are going to use a CSV file so let's create create a CSV file quickly. So this is my JMeter project file. I'm going to create a CSV file now. So let's create a CSV file. Let's save this. I'm going to give a name as test result and let's take the CSV from here. So I have taken the CSV. So let's save this file. So my CSV file is created and its name is test result. Let me search it that yes. So this is the CSV file which we have created just now test result dot CSV. Now I'm going to write a script over here for the scenario which we are going to do today. And since as we have already seen in the previous session that bean shell is a scripting language developed in Java and it can dynamically execute standard Java syntax. So we are going to use Java over here. We are going to write Java code over here. So let's proceed now. So I'm going to first write the class file. File F. This is a file object equal to new file. And let me give the path of this test result dot CSV. So test result dot CSV. So this is the file class from the Java and this is the object F which I have created of type file. So we have used this syntax and what this will do, this will point to the CSV file which we have created. Since we have given the path, we have given the full path of the test result dot CSV over here. So this object F is going to point to the test result dot CSV file. Now I want to write data to this CSV file. So how to do that? Again, I need to use another class from Java. I'm going to use the class file writer file writer and the object I'm saying as FW equal to new file writer. And I'm going to 
pass the file object over here this f was the file object and i have passed over here and why this file writer is used it is used to write data to the file and this file and file writer are inside the java.io package so i'm going to import that one as well so i'm going to write import java.io.star so why i have placed the star over here since file and file writer are all are inside java.io package now i am also going to use another class buffered writer so i will tell you why i am using this one buffered writer bw equal to new buffered writer and i will pass the file writer object this is the file writer object that is fw over here so why this buffered writer is used buffered writer uses internal buffer to write data to a file and if you have a number of write operations to use then you should definitely use this buffered writer class and since we are going to use only one write operation over here so it's okay to use only file writer but since it is a standard syntax to use both file writer and buffered writer so i have used both of them so now all set we have created the object to write data to the csv file now let's fetch the response code from this http request so how to do that so in this http request let's provide a server name so i have given the server name as google.com and how to fetch the response code from this http request so we have already seen in the previous session to fetch the result from the previous sampler this prev is used and for this post processor the previous sampler is http request so the prev if we are using prev it is going to fetch the result of http request so i'm going to use this prev prev dot get response code okay and i will assign it to a variable i'm going to use a variable rc that is response code equal to prev dot get response code and this will fetch the response code of this http request since it is the previous sampler of this post processor okay and now we need to write the if else condition that if this rc is equal to 200 then what to write in csv file we need to write code for that so i'm going to write if rc dot equals 200 then what we need to do we need to write that bw bw is the object of buffered writer class bw dot write what we need to write we need to write test is passed okay and else if this rc is not equal to 200 that means if my http request is getting failed what to do then else i'm going to write bw dot write test is failed okay now the full and final thing which we need to do is that we need to close this objects that bw dot close and the fw dot close bw is the object of buffer writer class and fw is the object of file writer close so now my script is ready and we are good to do the execution now and to see the results let let's add a listener as well so to add a listener again right click on the thread group add listener and the view result tree listener i have added so let's do the execution and let's see the result so i have started the execution and this is the http request so the execution is over so in the sampler result you can see the response code is 200 and this is the request which got passed that is google.com this is the response data response body and the response headers so now let's move to the csv file so what is our expectation since we got the response code as 200 and we have provided in the script that if the response code is equal to 200 right in the csv file that test is passed so let's move to the csv file and let's see what is the result over there 
so this was the csv file which we had created let's open this one and you can see that it is written over here that test is passed so my execution is successful since the response code was 200 it, the script wrote over here that test is passed now let's close this one let's let's close this one let me close it don't save now let's close this one and over here let's give an invalid server name let's remove this dot com from here and now let's do the execution and let's see the result so my execution is over and you can see from the sampler result from here the response code says non http request code and from earlier http request the response code was 200 and since my response code now is not equal to 200 what it should be written in the csv file it should be written that test is failed so let's move to the csv file and let's see what's the result over there so this was the csv file let's open this one and it says that test is failed so in this way our test is successful for the response code 200 it wrote in the csv file that test is passed and for other response code except than 200 it says that test is failed so in this way you can also write data to a csv file in your project as well whether in bean shell sampler bean shell post processor or bean shell pre processor so you can work with the bean shell scripting in this way in your project as well okay that's all for this session and if you have any query please put in the comment section below and i will try to solve your queries thank you have a nice day